Sarah, how are we doing? What have we got to? I've got a few questions for you to answer, please. What are they about? Uh, they're about uh, your new book, Scorpion 2. Okay. What are your questions? Um, why did you write Scorpion 2? I wrote Scorpion 2 because, as you know, I love stories and storytelling, and I never stop talking about them. And what I wanted to do was really do an experiment within stories and storytelling. And as my, you know, as my work as a writer, I wanted to kind of create a palette, like an artist would, of colours and, um, and brush strokes made from stories. And I did that in Scorpion Soup. So really, it was, it was kind of an experimentation. Alright, and how is Scorpion Soup different from the other books you've written? Scorpion Soup is quite different because, uh, as you know, some of my other books, the first books I wrote were travel books, they were about quests and far off countries and all kinds of magical and amazing things. And then I started writing fiction. I wrote Timbro 2 and um, a book that hasn't come out yet called Hannibal Fogg and the Supreme Secret of Man, as you know. Um, and I am now working on a series of other novels. And I'm really interested in, in um, transitioning from non-fiction to fiction. So I wrote Scorpion Soup um, as a way to do this, as a, as a kind of device from really to dive into uh, to, to fiction. And yes, it's, it's really, really different, and I hope people like it. Right, and um, why is Scorpion Soup like the Arabian Nights? Gosh, Scorpion Soup was really inspired by my obsession with Alf Layla Alayla, the Thousand and One Nights. And in the West, people, you know, people think they know a Thousand and One Nights because they know about Sinbad and Alibaba and Genies, Aladdin, and that sort of thing. But really, they don't know a Thousand and One Nights. Because Thousand and One Nights is this extraordinary labyrinth. It's this, this um, source book of unbelievable cultural material. It's a phenomenon in its own right. And so, Scorpion Soup is really, you know, it's a hymn to the Arabian Nights. It's a part of my own obsession with really what is the greatest, you know, it's the greatest um, collection of stories from the history of mankind. Okay, um, can you tell me about the Golden Pilgrimage? Yeah, the Golden Pilgrimage was a book that my grandfather, so your great grandfather, wrote almost a hundred years ago, um, in the 1930s, early 1930s. And it's really inspired as well by Thousand and One Nights, and by kind of by something called um, uh, The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, which was written hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And it really um, was very interesting to me because I found myself enthusiastic about this idea of stories within stories, something called the frame story. And this idea is a, it's a literary tool that storytellers use, a device. And I found myself obsessed, really, with this idea of stories within stories. And then, as always happens, and you hear me talk about this endlessly, I realized that my grandfather, Iqbal Ali Shah, um, had written a book in the same vein. He had written a book about um, about stories or within stories on many levels, and and that fascinated me. So um, I wasn't the first to do it yet again. And my last question is, what are you what are you working on right now? Ah, as you know, I just finished writing a novel called Casablanca Blues, which is a love story about um, an American who comes to Casablanca who's obsessed with Humphrey Bogart and the movie Casablanca. And he comes here on what we call a midlife crisis. And he falls in love with a snooty, tooty um, Moroccan girl. And all kinds of adventures ensue. And I just finished that last week and I, I decided that instead of editing it right away, I'd start writing my new novel right away. So I'm up there right at the moment writing my 3,000 words a day. And it's a book called I spy, E Y E spy, as you know, and it's a really strange story, a little bit dark, about about an eye surgeon who develops passion for eating eyeballs. It's strange. Anyway, Timo, thank you very much. Until next time.